welcome back to Claire and Elle Stories. So the story that I would love to share with you today is back from my musical beginnings. And this goes back to when I was 11 years old. I was in sixth grade. I'd just gotten to my new middle school and I had been playing clarinet for about one year at this point. <clears throat> and I was very, very excited to audition for the school band at my new school. And I remember when we got our audition results back, for any of you who maybe played in band when you were growing up, they ranked each section of instruments in terms of chair. So they'd have first chair, second chair, third chair, going all the way through the section for each instrument. And as I recall, there was about 15 clarinetists in the band, and I was 15th chair. I was last chair. And I recall feeling very discouraged and just thinking, am I really this bad? You know, I, I thought I was a little bit better than this. Uh, and around this time, I hadn't had a private teacher up until then. And around this time, my parents found a woman in our area who taught clarinet lessons. And her name was Charlotte Owen. And I'll never forget going over to her house for the first time. She lived in a beautiful old home and the basement level was all the music studio. And there was a grand piano down there and a lot of clarinets and a lot of sheet music and a lot of awards on the wall. And I remember the first time I walked in, I noticed this old photograph on the wall. And it was a black and white photo and it was of a band, all women band of all women, and standing on the podium at the very front of the band was, Char was a much younger Charlotte holding her, her, her baton. And it wasn't until later that I found out that Charlotte was actually the conductor of the, of the very first women's marine band during World War II, which was a really big deal. And Charlotte was just an incredible woman, uh, kind, giving, generous, a wonderful clarinetist, and an incredible teacher, so just passionate about sharing her love of music with young people. And that is exactly what her gift to me was. I remember even within the first few weeks of working with her, she just really instilled in me a love of the clarinet and a love of music that I, I hadn't really realized before. And as memory serves me, uh, you know, it's, it's always hard because we can never maybe completely trust our own memories, but uh, memory serves me. I think it was within three or four months at school that I was first chair in the band. And uh, it's just, I love recalling how with just a little guidance and with having found the right mentor, I was able to make my way up the section. And I will always, always feel so grateful to Charlotte and the chance to know her and to study with her. She was just a really important musical mentor in my life. And I also love remembering this story because I think it's just a perfect example of, you know, when we, when we look at, when we see people in the world who have achieved a certain skill level in any field, whether it's a musical instrument or writing or performing or whatever it is, it's very easy to look at people and think, Oh, they must be a natural at that. It must be a natural, that must be an innate ability that they've always had. And while I do think that there is a little bit of truth that, you know, each one of us has innate abilities in different areas, I also think that whenever any of us are embarking on learning something new, we always need some guidance in one way, shape, or form. And I try and remember this now when I'm learning new things because, you know, if I feel like I'm starting something and I'm not very good at, at that, I try not to let it upset me or deter me because how things look for us at the starting line, I think is no representation of where we can go, what we can be, who we can be. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this Clarinelle story and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thanks for watching.